Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 13 of the Iron Man series. Now in the background you're just going to be seeing me doing some Slayer while I record this intro. Because I just want to mention that on the last episode I titled it Luckiest Episode Yet. Well, that is no longer the case. This episode has it beat by a mile and now I'm stuck because I'm embarrassed to put the word luck or any sort of relation to the word in the title because I've done it so bloody much these last couple of episodes. So I'll have to think of something else, but for now, let's jump into my best progress video yet. Enjoy. Look at my bloody supplies. That was the easiest kill ever for the loop half. Uh, if you're wondering why we're back here, it is because we have a boss task. Oh shit, we just got another abyssal head. That is our second one and we don't have a very high kill count, so I feel really bad if anyone is after one of these. I'll check that in just a second. Yep, so we just hit 3k kill count on Abyssal Demons and picking up our second head. So I I think they're 1 in 6k, correct me if I'm wrong, so yeah. And only a couple of kills later we are also picking up another whip. I think that is our fourth one in 3000 kill count, so while we're lucky with the heads, we are pretty unlucky with these whips. No, I missed 96 strength. Ah, well, there's 96 strength, guys. He's 1 million experience away from 97. Uh, we are getting about 100,000 strength XP per gargoyle task now, so because we got the bludgeon, expect that to go a lot quicker. Finishing up a clue scroll. And that is terrible. We did just get a greater demon task, though, so I'm going to go knock you out, I think, 12 skatizos, so expect a lot more clues to come. First casket of the skatizo grind. And... Garthic's plate legs might be unique. And they are. Second casket. And that's a lot of rune. Elkables, can't complain with that one. Here we go again. And Garthic's. Did we complete the Garthic's page? I mean, book. No, we didn't. Let's have a look. And no, we are missing page two for the Garthic's book. Every single bloody clue scroll I've received so far has required me to come here. I mean, I'm happy to get paid 10,000 gold every time, but it's kind of a pain in the ass. We actually got an elite casket this time. Now, I'm not sure if you guys want to see these Skatizo kills for the drops, but I've only gotten rune items so far. But if I get the pet or the claw even, you'll definitely see that. But for the hard clue, another... I think that is what we need, so now I can build those stashes, because I think the heraldic shield is needed for two clues, so that's awesome, I'm really happy with that one. And the elite? <laughs> uh, uh, number five or six, I believe, and that is that is the most average clue you'll ever get. And another one. Oh, um... Yes! Elf camp teleports. That's fantastic. And the stall is nice too, I guess. Once again, we managed to pick up an elite as well. So here is the hard. That's terrible. And the elite. That is also terrible. Here we are with another hard. And once again, an extremely... No, that's a, that's a good hard. I'm happy with that one, actually. Alright. We got another elite and hard, and these were a pain in the ass. I had to re-gear multiple times because I kept getting wilderness clues, and they weren't consecutive, so it was just a pain in the dick. So let's hope we get something good. No. That's shit. Uh, no. Man. And another casket. Um, okay, I think we already have that. That's unfortunate. I had to go to bloody Kazari jungle twice for this hard clue, so I'm expecting uh, some third age here. Uh, uh, that's terrible. And there is the last totem used. It really got nothing interesting out of that, which is a bit unfortunate. Not even the claws. Okay, the last casket. Let's hope we get something good. Um, it's not bad, but we didn't actually get anything great from any of those, I don't think. There is 89 defense and 115 combat. I get so excited when we get these cave horror tasks because we still need four black mask on the account, three more for the colored helmets and one for the player own house dummy. So hopefully we can start pulling some out. And what do you know? We have our second black mask. That is awesome. Picking up that second one on 1200 kill count. 
Uh, I think it was 862 kills ago that we got our first one. What the fuck? The clip didn't record. That's tragic. But we just hit 98 hit points, one level away from the big 99, our first 99. And I honestly think we can hit that this episode if we get enough barrage task. But uh, lucky that wasn't the 99, otherwise I would have just cried, man. And we are also picking up 88 attack towards the end of this task. Just one kill left. And there we have it, 179 Hellhounds. I was actually curious if we would not get a Hellhounds task before 92 Slayer, but we've managed to pull it off just 27k away. We have a medium clue from a random imp. Can we pick up Ranger Boots just before the Cerberus grind? No, we cannot. We have a nice level popping up here. 77 Herb Lore. We no longer have to boost to make stamina potions. That is awesome. I'm just making these prayer potions because we are just about to head to Cerberus and I know he drains them an insane amount. I'm actually going to go ahead and spend 10 prayer potions right now because we can boost to 80, which we can now use to upgrade our pool so we no longer have to run to here and then back here to restore everything. So let's do this right now. That is awesome. Okay, here we go. We are set. Inventory is good. The gear, the gear is extremely good. Let's get some boots. And there is the first kill for an unholy symbol. Our first Keymaster teleport. Holy shit, I did not realize that was the level. We just hit 92 Slayer on Cerberus. That is awesome. Kill 58, we are picking up a smoldering stone, man. That is... Ah. Oh. Okay, everyone, so the next clip you're going to see, I wasn't going to put in with the live audio because I watched it back and I, I cringed at myself. It's very... It's a bit embarrassing, but I'm going to put it in with the live audio because I'm sure you guys appreciate the live reactions. Holy shit, kill 60, we pick up Primordial! What the fuck, guys? What the absolute fuck? Kill 58 Smoldering Stone and then kill 60 Primordials. Holy shit. Holy shit, guys. I, I honestly can't believe my fucking luck. If you can see in the clan chat, I, I'm not going to give it away, but I, I, I'll let you guys know if it's going to be a good e episode next time, right? So... Come join the CC, I'm going to sell out right now, and uh, you'll definitely uh, you'll definitely know if next episode's going to be a good one. Let's fucking make these. 400 XP drop. We, <laughs> we have the fucking primordials, boys. Look at that. Holy shit. Picking up 100 kill count at Cerberus. Uh, the first 100 kills were insanely fucking lucky. Let's hope we can pick up some more the next 100. Check out the chat, everyone. Maybe you'll get a primordial instead. Just maybe, mate. Just maybe. <laughs> Ignore the food pile on the ground, but there is 200 Cerberus KC. Unless the bracelets save it, this will be the last Cerberus kill for the soul runes. That was an extremely fun boss. I do enjoy it a lot, and we got extremely lucky on this task, but um, it is really taxing on the prayer potions and super restores. I don't know if next Hellhound task... I, I mean, I could do Cerberus. I might do a few kills, but I don't think I'm going to do the whole task Cerberus again like that. Kill 623. We are picking up another Trident of the Seas full. That is an extra 2,500 death runes for us. I'm still doing this boss because all we need now is that pet. Um, look at my health I and my prayer. I just used the fucking redemption prayer and we got the pet. What the fuck? I saw, I saw this one spawn too. This fucking episode, guys. Holy shit. I didn't think we'd be able to top last episode's luck and this one is off to a fantastic start. We have the pet, we can now block this task. That is amazing. The second pet on the account, let's ensure this bad boy. Yup, yup. Yes, please. And it is insured. We now have two pets. Here we go, got a casket. And that's pretty average, not bad though. 
it is update night and I am super excited for this. I want to never have empty vials ever again. So if I'm to drink this, oh my lord, that is just fantastic. Hey, 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 why? Why is that? Excuse me? Why? Alright, let's try this again. Maybe it was just a weird one in a billion bug. Or maybe it was Jagex's spaghetti code. Hey, hey, what the fuck? Oi, no, 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 I don't want this. I want to test it on that, but I, I like these. I don't want to waste them. Hang on, we can test it. What the fuck? Did I turn it off? I didn't, I didn't think I turned it off. I, I must have, but I didn't. You guys saw me do it. I haven't, I didn't re-talk to him after that. I just left. What the fuck? Okay, so I did a bit of research and it turns out they had a server syncing issue. So I've uh, I've logged out and I couldn't log in because there was a server error. So I assume they fixed it. I went back to Barbarian Agility Course, re-enabled it. So hopefully it stays on this time. Well, it works now because I haven't logged out, but hopefully. Okay, guys, as you can see, we are four left on the task. I have no prayer, no food. So I have resorted to flinching cave horrors. It <laughs> feels bad. We are bringing in another hard clue. For a Bando's page four. Oh, another Amulet of Glory trimmed. Is the... What page do we need for Bando's? Not that one. It's just like when they're behind you and trying to pass. <gasps> Holy shit. What the fuck? We just got the imbued heart. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> my first ever Night Beast superior kill. We are picking up the imbued heart. Oh, <laughs> I'm in Skype with Hardcore right now and he just saw the whole thing on screen share. What the fuck? Oh man, can we use it? I think I just used it. That is insane. By the way, guys, that imbued heart was on superior number 101 for anyone who was curious. Here we go, we've got another hard clue. And that's the average one. Oh, that was hard clue 150. And another one. <laughs> Nothing crazy, but we just completed a full totem during one task. Base, middle, top. Not too bad. One of these days, I'm going to get myself that third age helmet. It's the only piece I want. But a Guthix helmet will do just fine. Yay, finally we pick up the Leaf Bladed Battle Axe. It has been well over a hundred tasks since I last received Curask, I'm pretty sure. So that is, uh, that's very nice to see. Now let's check the kill count we got it on. Curask. After 1400 kills, 1444 is pretty cool. We pick up the Leaf Bladed Battle Axe. Testing out the new Battle Axe and we pick up 97 strength. Two levels away from the big 99, which I'm pretty sure will be our second one after health or HP, which is only 570k away. Holy shit, I just checked the chat and we also just hit 1900 total and also 116 combat. We are getting up there. I need to start switching up where we open these caskets, so here's a hard for nothing. Kill 275 and we are picking up our second smoldering stone. I don't want to complain, but it is a little unfortunate to go 215 dry for that. Our first elite from Cerberus on 287. And there is 300 KC here at Cerberus. The plan here on out is to only do 50 kills every single Hellhound task. That way we can knock it out slowly without using too many supplies at once. What the fuck? There's a dragon impling in the fucking place and I don't have a competition pass. I won the competition. They should just let me in. I don't have one. Fuck you. Wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Oh shit, what am I doing? What am I doing? Go, go. Yay, what do we get? Whoa, that's actually really good. That's awesome. We have a hard and that elite. Let's start with this hard. And 
it, it took me by surprise. That looked good at the start, but that is not so great. And the Elite. <sighs> what the fuck is that? That is, without a doubt, the worst Elite I have ever had. Gothic's page 4. It might be good, though. The page 4 is not good. Once again, you have reached the end of another episode, and I thought it would be a struggle to beat last episode's luck, but <laughs> this account is just ridiculous lately. We picked up Primordial Boots, two Smoldering Stones, and an Imbued Fucking Heart this episode. That is just the craziest thing I could ever imagine. But once again, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I really do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'm going to work my hardest to be able to pump out another one as soon as possible for you all.